prevalence of blood-borne infections such as AIDS and Hepatitis B, accidental needle stick injuries are a significant occupational hazard for all healthcare workers. In a healthcare setting, significant numbers of needle stick injuries are known to occur at the bedside during procedures, at clean-up after procedures, or within the waste disposal system. Doctors, nurses, cleaners and porters and patients can all be exposed to this hazard. In answer to this problem, an Australian company, Nikon Individual Needle Containment System, a significant step towards safer needle use. The Nikon system was presented to one of Australia's foremost medical institutions, the Flinders Medical Centre, in 1988. Previous experience had shown that when needles were not recapped and were disposed of in accordance with the standard recommendations of the Centre for Disease Control, less recapping injuries occurred. However, there were significant opportunities for alternative injuries to occur downstream of actual use. Uncovered needles falling from trays, people bumping into one another, overfilled or carelessly filled sharps containers and needles discarded recklessly all exposed medical staff to serious risk. Despite adherence to CDC guidelines, the reported rate of hypodermic needle injury at Flinders Medical Centre in 1988 was 10% amongst nurses, 8% amongst cleaners and 5% amongst porters. The Nikon system was seen to be simple in its design and principle and was universally accepted and used for blood collection procedures throughout the centre. In late 1988, the Central Medical Advisory Committee of the Centre commissioned a multidisciplinary group headed by the Accident Prevention Section to find a way to reduce these needle injuries. The group involved physicians, surgeons, nurses, infection control personnel, pharmacists and biomedical technicians. This group reasoned that if a needle could be safely contained immediately after use, injuries occurring after the point of use could be eliminated. The Nikon system provided that possibility. The equipment and systems developed have been introduced throughout Flinders Medical Centre and are now available to other hospitals and institutions as a first-line defence against needle stick injury. With the implementation of the Nikon system throughout the hospital, the Flinders Medical Centre expects a significant reduction in the overall needle stick injury rate it is anticipated that the system will be capable of generating considerable cost savings from better utilisation and disposal of sharps containers within the waste management stream. Surveys conducted with phlebotomists for blood collection showed a very high acceptance of the system. Its suggestions and recommendations were incorporated into current tray designs and have been well accepted by doctors and nurses using them for occasional bedside blood collection and routine administration of medications. An ongoing education program will be maintained to ensure that all personnel are familiar with procedures. Immediately after use, and using only one hand for insertion, the needle is guided into a Nikon needle cover. The needle easily locates into the centre. Little effort is required. A firm downward push attaches the cover to the lure section of the needle. The needle is now contained and can be lifted from the tray. Removal of the needle is achieved by simply twisting and separating it from the syringe. Direct contact with the needle is now unnecessary and almost impossible as the needle is fully enclosed within the needle cover. This procedure almost completely eliminates the risk of needle stick injury. The hands are protected from blood contamination during needle removal. The contained needle should be placed into the appropriate disposal stream for sharps. Once contained, a needle is unlikely to cause injury even if it is irresponsibly discarded into the incorrect waste disposal system. Nikon Individual Sharps Containment System offers protection of needles immediately after use. Protection for the user and anyone else who may come in contact with a needle before its eventual destruction. Here are some of the main applications of the Nikon system. In high usage areas, the system allows work to proceed without actually handling each needle cover. These remain in the multiple use tray and are disposed of when the tray is full. In this heavy use setting, the remote risk of injury is even further reduced by a design which does not involve personal contact with the needle cover. The tray is then reloaded and made ready for use.
During intramuscular or intravenous administration of medications, a procedure tray is used to carry prepared syringes from the drug room to the bedside. The needle is contained immediately upon withdrawal and is placed into the Sharps disposal stream. All other items can be disposed of within the infectious waste system, which substantially reduces the volume of Sharps waste disposal. Insulin syringes with integral needles can be contained and disposed of completely within a Sharps container. For occasional blood collection at the bedside, a procedure tray contains all the equipment necessary to perform the required blood tests and is positioned close to the patient. The needle is contained immediately upon withdrawal and separated from the syringe or multi-sample needle holder. A disposable tray fits within the procedure tray to reduce contamination. For disposal, the contained needle is placed into a Sharps container and the procedure tray is inverted over the clinical waste bin, again reducing waste within the Sharps disposal system. In dental surgeries, for the removal and disposal of difficult to handle local anaesthetic needles. In low usage areas, a holder of five is suitable for surgeries or specialist suites where occasional blood collection and intramuscular injections are required. In laboratory and research areas, trays of either 20 or 40 are available in stainless steel or plastic. The benefits of the Nikon system can be summarised as follows. Needles are contained immediately after use by a low-risk, single-handed insertion procedure. All post-use mechanisms of injury are thereby reduced to an absolute minimum. Irresponsibly discarded needles are protected. Cost savings from reduced usage and disposal of Sharps containers. Increased staff morale. Reduced blood splash on hands when removing the needle from a blood-filled syringe. These safety instructions must be followed at all times. Always hold the syringe or needle holder so that the needle enters vertically and not at an angle. Always use one hand to guide the needle and let the needle locate itself into the centre without force. Only then push down firmly to attach the needle cover to the needle. No great force is required. Remember, one hand, vertical insertion, gently guided, then firmly press. Also, make sure you have selected the correct needle cover. Each needle cover is colour-coded to identify its compatibility to a specific brand of manufactured needle. Do not insert a bent, broken or damaged needle into a Nikon needle cover. They are not designed to handle damaged needles. Dispose of these needles directly into the Sharps disposal stream. Always use Nikon products in accordance with the directions supplied. The Nikon system has been developed to suit various applications. Holders for light usage, trays for bedside procedures and multiple use trays for easy handling. Both medical and dental areas are being addressed. Continual research and development will see the Nikon system adapted to suit a variety of needles and sharps to meet medical and dental requirements throughout the world.